Thank you. It's a great pleasure. I think everybody is uh, trying to sleep because this sleeping time. But my topic is completely different. Uh, not that much academic, but very much interesting, very much uh, relevant to your life because all of we are getting older. So my talk is on aging population. Why? Uh, this is a great concern of this century. And throughout the globe, the concern is increasing and the number of the elder population is also increasing and we have to take care of them. Who doesn't know this man? Uh, you know, this uh, gentleman, how nice he was in his middle age and at the late life, what he is. These are elderly people, no doubt, but they are ruling nation. They are the leaders of different countries of the world. And they are the heroes, celebrities. They are making us laughter, giving joy, many things to us. Still, after the age of 65, what you call elderly age. Religious leaders also. But the journey of the life is completely different. Why? You can see it starts with a green leaf, but ends with a very uh, brown and puckered leaf. So this is the journey of life. It is, it is just like this. Some people, they think that aging is a disease. No, this is not a disease. This is a natural, Mr. Chair, this is a natural process of the physiology which we have to test at any parts, any person who has got money and who has got no money, no matters. You have to touch, test the age uh, of your life. It starts and ends in the grave or whatever may be. What is the global position, uh, Honorable Chair? Uh, the global position, you can see the geriatric demography going so faster. In 1900, it was less than 1%, which has turned into 92 years after 6.2% and projected in 2050 almost 20%. So every five people, you will get one person who is having geriatric age or 65 years and old. You can see by 20, 25, 20, 30, 35, 40, 40, where is the more darker area? United States, China, but India is below this higher age group a projected value but still we should not keep ourselves quiet we should be very uh, enthusiastic from now because what is going on that we should address those people to take care the two issues are very important one is the frailty rates it is decreasing and the life expectancy is increasing. So these two are very, very important. And you can see that developing countries like Bangladesh and India have been included among the 20 countries of the world who will experience high number of aged population. These two low middle income country are included in those. And if you see this uh, slide, the 65 years old age group is crossing by 2020 and the five years, that means we are not taking two children, one children, even zero or minus population is going on. Despite all this, our number of population is not decreasing. The life expectancy, you can see, the life expectancy has increased Globally, if you check the arrow area, 75, 71 to 75, the female are uh, long liver. Uh, the male are dying early. But still, almost the world population, 
the are same except the African region. This uh, slide is very important for one reason. If you see, I think there is no uh, light over here. You can see that the pyramid with the 50 years it has been changed to uh, some other shape, but in projected 2500, 2050, this will be a uh, tunnel shape on the top. That means the elderly age group will be more. Oh, thank you very much. The elderly age group will be more. So this change of 100 year century, this is giving us a big issue. Next. Uh, yes, I have seen this, shown this to you, that these are the population of the world. When I am talking before you, just two days back, on 15th of November, the world population become 8 billion. I repeat, 8 billion. So, it is projected that by 2100, the population will be 10.4 billion. And majority of the people, population will be elderly. So, we are concerned with the elderly population. And you see that China, India and Bangladesh, they are among these large population countries. So, let us see. I am talking in India. Let us see what is happening in India. You can see that, let us come to this point over here. Elderly population in India was 8.6% in 2011, which is 10.1% uh, in 2021, just the last year, and the projected is 13.1%. This is going on, the elderly population, and this is the figure. This is the picture that India is experiencing, huge number. What about the Bangladesh? Yes, Bangladesh, the same uh, picture. You can see there is a very Tami-like figure over here, and by 2050, it will be like this. I told you before, so I'm not repeating that Bangladesh is one of the 20 countries, those who will represent 44% of the world population. As you know, India has got 1.4 billion, China has got 1.4 billion. So the world's almost 44% population, including India, Bangladesh, China, Indonesia, and many other big countries, it is 44% they will represent. That means the Asia. Let us see the China. China from 1950 to this date, 2020, you can see where they are. Where they are? Just more than double, 17.4. This is the elderly population. United States, they are almost flat. They, they had the elderly population before because they had the ability to uh, rear up to take care of those population. If we compare in the India and China, just see there, here, 2019 to 2022, the population increases zero in China, but still it is very high. Also in India, almost it is 0.6, but still it is the higher population number and is very high. If you compare Bangladesh and uh, USA, because USA's population is just double of Bangladesh, uh, sorry, but still uh, you can see that we have 1.08 percent 22, but they are uh, having the decrease in number, but they cannot control because of the old people are still surviving than the expected age. Uh, between China and India, I think the Chinese, their number is much higher. Old people has been classified again into three uh, sub-classification. One is young old. I think all of in this room, those who are in elderly, including myself, young old. Middle old, 75 to 84. 
and more old old is 85 plus so 85 plus people are you can see the demography of geriatric population in different countries are different you can see this they are the first world and they are the third world countries still at this age they are working and they are making laser and enjoying their time still this is india's picture bangladesh picture these people at their old age still they are working these are the issues and these are the concern the issues facing by the elderly are loneliness insecurity poverty discrimination abuse and health issues i will not go into the detail uh, just few uh, words loneliness leads to depression so many things uh, there are and you can uh, pass your time with books if you are educated insecurity from the family this is very common in our uh, this subcontinent and they can't earn money so they don't have as because they cannot earn they don't have any money discrimination in case of job when a elderly person apply for job obviously the younger is encouraged not the elder one so social and job discrimination is very important issue abuse in the family it is common uh, we do not know but it's, it's, a, it's a very important issue one should address and the health issue you know these are the most important hypertension diabetes cvd uh, ischemic heart disease these are the issues <laughs> geriatric patients are coming to you you like it or you don't like it no matter so they are coming so we have some responsibility what to do our responsibility to care this and we need to protect the elderly population because they have immense experience they provide a vital uh, generational link and support stability to the family and society but are we doing this this is a very important question for today contributing towards sorry contributing towards bringing the better human being and responsible citizen the elderly people are very much needed so we should take care of them so family has got the first responsibility what the family is doing this is the picture not available nowadays in one family this is a joint family now this is the nuclear family we too have to nothing more than that and cornerstone in all human society again in the united states or in any western country they are thinking again for they are going for uh, planning for again that joint family is better than the nuclear family our joint family they take care of their uh, even the you can see that they are enjoying the touch of the grand uh, children or uh, whatever may be so this gives a family bondage and we can take care of the seniors according to the rituals uh, of different religion they are taking care of their elderly so elders have their own expectation and they think that now i am old but i was boss once that once upon a time so they have their own issues so they think that nowadays families are fragmented but definitely the fewer young family uh, members uh, will be available in the family that is why we are very much concerned about the elder elder also uh, they want some adjustment with the new cultures and ego problem that is another issue some elder people they think that i am the eldest person so what i will say that is the final so it is not true they, and also sometimes very difficult to accept the uh, decision of their son uh, of, obviously uh, this is uh, the point that the elder have their own issues what the society is doing for the elderly 
society uh, is behaving something like ageism, racism. They are not entertaining the elders. And the middle, uh, you can see, uh, they are saying you are old, you might have some disease, disability. So sometimes they are also very much uh, scared. They feel I am useless, powerless. I am, after some days I am going to death. So the right of the elderly are many. I will not go uh, too much, but don't uh, uh, think that the elders means they don't have anything. They have the right to be treated as a person, to have a good future, have fun, be romantic, and also be respected and prioritized. Society has got responsibility towards the elder. Definitely, they should take care of the uh, daycare center, medical aid and economy, welfare scheme, which is not available too much in our region and in our country like Bangladesh and India. What is happening? We are glorifying the youth. So, modern digitalized lifestyle has resulted the diminished social standing of the elderly. So, what to do? If we want to give some respect and also to use the elderly, don't say you are useless, ineffective. In that case, we can use their experience. This is a big question, how to overcome this situation. What the government is doing. Say, for example, in developed and developing country, you can divide into two. In developed country, there is social security for the elderly. They get some money from the government and the rest of the life, as well as the uh, gratuity from the job and ev everything, they can pass a very nice time. I have shown you the picture. But what is happening in uh, our country, like developing country like India and Bangladesh? The government officials, they can get some uh, gratuity money from the job. But what about the rural people? They are not get getting anything. Very little number and very few uh, amount of money is being allocated as in our Bengali language, it is called Boyoshko Bhata, means your uh, elder age, uh, some money, which is so negligible, uh, this is of no use. So there is a big difference between the developing and developed country. So we have to overcome that. Last but not the least, the role of physician. When they are coming with ill health, what you are doing for the elderly? Are you taking proper care, proper history, and soft as spoken to the elderly? Very patiently, you are listening to uh, the elderly uh, person? Yes, this is needed. They are expecting that when I am in hospital, I must be properly addressed. And you should be very careful about the nosocomial infection. So the time to act is now. Mr. Chair, in every level, national, political, cultural, sports, economy, arts, teaching, science, we see that the, I have shown you the picture before, the elderly are conquering the nation. Also, they are the celebrities in cinema, in arts, and everywhere. So we have to respect them. So our take home message is, young generation should remember that they will older someday in the same way. Aged population are the backbone of the nation. Aging is not a disease. We should respect the senior citizen in terms of experience, knowledge, and attitude and skill. Elderly people are part and parcel of the society. Elder people have the same right as others. Elder people should adjust, accept, and adapt with the change culture and modern digitalized life. We are proud 
to take the responsibility of the big burden of the huge number of elderly population. And with this, I conclude here, Mr. Chair. You see, these are the new leaves. These are the old leaves. But this looks very beautiful that the elderly and the younger are living together. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.